Hello, this is Simeon Ambergy with praisetracks.com and today we're going to be taking a look at T-Rex CS. This is the latest uh, version of uh, IK Multimedia's mastering uh, package and um, we're going to just take a quick look at the standalone as well as how it integrates in with the, your favorite DAW. Uh, in my case, <laughs> this is uh, Cakewalk Sonar X2. Um, so what we're looking at here is the uh, opening screen uh, when you when you first open T-Rex CS and this is the standalone and what I what I really like about the standalone is that you can just use this application by itself without having to go out to other audio editors especially if, uh, if you're at the final stages of your project like when you're when you're assembling uh, your mixes to uh, before you go to a CD uh, to just do those final mastering things the final tweaks to the files and um, what, what we have up at the top, you have a preset manager, and this, this is what just helps you to, to go through all of the possible uh, presets that IK Multimedia has provided uh, to do just various mastering things. Um, T-Rex CS uh, comes with uh, 16 available modules, uh, and they range anywhere from EQs to compressors to um, uh, clipping, saturation type effects uh, to... Um, just all kinds of things, uh, multi-band compressors, you name it, uh, you can find it in, in this package. And um, so, and, and the way that they have it, they have it grouped into the Classic, the Deluxe, and the Grand. Now the Classic just comes with the, um, with the starting uh, amount of processors, and then you go up to the Deluxe, and then the Grand has all 16 uh, available processing modules available. And so these presets just try to take advantage of all of the modules that are available in the particular version of uh, T-Rex that you have. And what they have as well is that you load these into these uh, slot areas here. And let's go ahead and load up a preset. And we'll go ahead and, and let's just see here. Um, let's do old and, little old and funky. And immediately you see this uh, beautiful inter, uh, interface um, emulating a uh, 670 uh, compressor and it's just really nice. I mean they, they really go to a great extent to make the interface look like the physical um, model. And you notice uh, this slot is filled and then also you have these other slots that are filled and you have, um, have the EQ, you have the T-Rex EQ and uh, again you know just a, just a nice uh, clean interface then you have the uh, clipping module, which is kind of like a sat saturation type of thing to just give it a, like a really soft, uh, soft edge on, on things. And here you have your metering section in the middle. This is great for finding the levels of your um, tracks and things when you're comparing one track to another or mixing or trying to find out uh, problem areas in your mix. You have a peak meter, then you have a perceived loudness meter. That kind of helps to get the get the most out of your um, out of your file. You know, to to you know, we have this loudness wars thing going, so you don't you know necessarily want to suck all the dynamics out. And this kind of helps you to to kind of judge that. You have a phase meter. Uh, you would just want to make sure that everything is. Um, working correctly so when when it goes into mono or you have uh, different playback situations you don't you want to make sure everything's being heard and the phase um, helps uh, determine some of that it just gives you a visualization and then you have the spectrum analyzer here and that kind of will show you some um, possible frequencies that might be troubling and you can just see them right here um, and so what we'll do let's go ahead and, and um, in this area you can actually load your audio file so let's go ahead and load um, let's pick a pick a file here and I kind of like this one here and we just open that and you'll see a preview window open and let's play back a little bit and you can see you can play back and control things you can do fade in and fade out times you have um, over the curve you know, the fade in and out curve, the shape. And what this audio window allows you to do is to load all your tracks in here and you can have access to all of that. So uh, this is a basic, just a basic introduction of uh, T-Rex CS standalone. And uh, the next uh, video, we'll uh, get into a little more detail. Thanks.